Oh, I'll take another one. Yeah, sure. Thanks. There you go, sir. Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up, dude? I think you're coming up. I know, I got caught up. What can I get you, sir? Um, just beer. Got it. Thank you. Man. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I met this girl and she is the one. The one? Been meeting this girl on Tinder, been talking to her, and she's just, she's so cool, man. She's just down to earth, she's funny, she totally gets me, bro. So of all the girls in the world, you met the one on Tinder. The same Tinder where you meet and fuck on the first date? Go on. She's the coolest girl I ever met, you know? I mean, she's just, she's so awesome. And then the best part about it is, she's great in the sack. Best sex I ever had. What, did she lick your asshole? Fuck no! And she's not the one. What are you talking? I just told you, she, she's the coolest girl I ever met. Of course she's the one. I mean, she's awesome. Wait, wait a second. You're telling me you never had your ass licked before? No. So you never had your dirt star tongue punched? <laughs> Chili ring licked? Played in the hairy hollow? S'mored the Hershey Highway? The Harry Hollow? What the fuck is wrong with you? Dude, you're missing out on the eighth wonder of the world. Have you? Absolutely. It was the greatest experience of my life. Made me a changed man. See, I used to be all narrow-minded like you, thinking it was gay to play in the Harry Hollow. But this one girl, she made me a believer. You see, I'm from Arkansas, and for 25 years, I considered the asshole a no-fly zone. That's how you catch the gay. Catch the gay? It's not an airborne virus, man. You can't catch the gay, okay? Yeah, well, I didn't know being gay was a choice back then. I thought if something went up your ass, you catch the gay, then you just start blowing dudes. You serious problems, okay? And also, whether or not something goes in your ass or not has no bearing on whether or not you're gay, okay? It's a biological thing, or like, whatever. So anyways, my first duty station is in Seoul, Korea, right? Mm-hmm. And I made this deal with myself that I was going to break the southern mall and be more open-minded. So it didn't take long for the good lord to put me to the test. You see, all the guys at work, they asked me like I'm asking you right now if I ever had my ass licked. And me being straight, I freaked out and was like, hell no! Only queer homosexuals do that. <laughs> These guys were straight as an arrow and they assured me that it wasn't gay and that I was missing on something absolutely amazing. And yeah, they were straight as an arrow that was snapped in half. You know, I always knew you Navy guys were a bundle of fags. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just listen to my story, all right? All right, go ahead. So I'm hammered one night at the bar with this gorgeous ass girl. Long story short, we go back to her place. We're both butt naked on the bed. And she starts just blowing me and licking on my balls. I mean, it feels absolutely amazing. Oh. And then she starts licking on my taint and fleshy fun bridge. Fleshy fun bridge? Would you shut the fuck up and just listen to what I'm saying here? Uh, okay, go ahead. So it feels so good that I start screaming and squirming and moaning and groaning. Then she just looks at me and stops and says, Oh, you like that? Now me being drunk at the time, what I should have said was, Fuck no, bitch, get the fuck away from my asshole. I ain't with that gay shit. But all I could really hear at the time was my friend's voices saying how glorious it was to get your asshole licked. So all I could say was, let me get this straight. You're hooking up with this really hot girl, right? And all you can think about is your buddies back at the base? Listen, pay attention to what I'm saying, all right? Okay. So she tells me to get in doggy position and she'll be right back. Mm hmm So here I am, this grown-ass man. I'm butt naked on all fours in doggy position. I've never felt so weird and vulnerable in my entire life. And all I could think about was, man, if this bitch does something on my ass, we're gonna have a fucking problem. So she comes back all laughing and smiling and excited and she comes back with this big box of baby wipes. Now it's pitch black in our room, I can't see shit. But for some reason God sheds his light in there and all of a sudden I can see everything clearly. So she takes out this baby wipe and she wipes my ass so clean that I can feel her breath in the old dirt star. Like that. Now I'm nervous as fuck, but I'm also excited. Yeah, you're excited because you're about to shove a giant dildo up your ass. Anyways, so she spreads my butt cheeks like this, one to the east and one to the west. And then she starts just going to town on my ass like this. 
Then she starts going back and forth between my ass and my balls going, uh, 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 uh. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. I lose my mind. This is the greatest sexual experience in the history of mankind. You know how your toes curl like this? Uh-huh. Well, you know that one scene on the old Wizard of Oz from the House Lambs and the Witch and her toes curl up backwards? That's what my toes did, man. They, they went backwards against the bone, all the way up to my kneecap like a fucking fruit roll up. I, I was like that bitch on the exorcist. I started climbing up the wall all the way to the ceiling. I blew the biggest load I ever blew in my entire life. I mean, I immediately fell in love with this girl. I gave her my wallet, my car keys, my cash, credit cards. And I even called the bank and had everything transferred to her name. I was like, if you can lick my asshole like that, you can just have everything of mine. Just take it. Now she, she was the one. Now, you know, I say this with all, you know, sincerity and care. But, uh, you need therapy. Oh, I know. But that was the story of the first time I had my ass licked. <laughs> <laughs> we should go right to the Oh my god.